Hey YouTube, it's Aldorn and welcome to episode 2 of my Mass Effect Let's Play and I'm going to get right back into it. Load game. I'm wondering if I should start on that screen or if I should just load it ahead of time. It'd probably be easier to load it ahead of time. But, whichever way you guys prefer, you can tell me in the comments. And let's go talk to Captain Anderson. Oh wait, Nihilus. Oh well, what are you doing? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. That's a what bit about honest. Talk about what? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Why does that I'm matter? I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? I think you might be taking that, uh, let's see, idea too far. There's a better word for that. Anyways. Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? By the way, I think it's about time we no, told I'll the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Okay, I'll tell you now. Spectre stands for Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. I think that's it. I don't think the... Yeah. There's no S. That's in the plural. So, Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. They're basically just secret operatives that can do all sorts of things. Anyways. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Oh, there's going to be some. I don't like being kept one, in the dark, so you know. Captain. This comes down there's to the There's going to be quite a few episodes without the information combat, strictly though, so on a need-to-know basis. This is a research team on Eden Prime. Pretty unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. RPG. It was Prothean. Protheans are your typical. I thought the Protheans vanished fifty thousand years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This Which is, is big pretty ship. important. I would the think. last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. I didn't know how far but it Eden Prime it doesn't forward. have the facilities to handle something. No one like discovered. No one. We need to bring the beacon themselves. back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's hey, going uh, on, Captain? Has come. The Alliance has been pushing for this uh, for a long time. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Humanity wants uh, a larger role in shaping uh, interstellar coming into play pretty quickly. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. So how did he put my name forward? I'm trying to figure this out. Did he have like a... Was he just looking at random military personnel? Did he have a list he was looking at or what? Anyways, um, I'm not going to refuse to... Or even mention refusing joining the super awesome death squad. So, let's pick Just tell one. me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Yay. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Let's about the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very hmm. heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy! 
heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing he just the same thing in like four point. different ways was he counting never did figure that out status he report was counting the seconds or 17 or minutes out captain no other like alliance ships to. in the area that'd be kind of funny take us like into the fast and quiet hand this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Yeah, we get to play with guns. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. What's that big red spot? It's supposed to be Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. I don't see how even a full-scale invasion would turn Your the team's the red. muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dick site. But atmosphere is What about survivors, Captain? Like this, so Helping survivors is a care. secondary it's objective. Really the beacon's your top priority. Red means Approaching bad. drop point one. Nice. You're coming stars. with us? That lighting. I move faster on my own. Or him, apparently. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status okay. reports throughout the mission. I guess there's lots Otherwise, of I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. How is that a drop? Especially if we're in that. Whatever. That just looks strange. Shepard, you're bright, That's Larry. I can't see you. It's there. Okay. Let's get these helmets off. Wrong button. That's the skill sword. Hostiles everywhere. This is the screen I'm looking for. Toggle helmet. Toggle helmet. Oh, and notice Jenkins' middle name. It starts with an L. Can you think what that middle name might be? I'll tell you soon enough, but see if you can guess beforehand. Anyways, um, there's four weapons. There's a pistol, a shotgun, which I will show you, good, but I'm not going to use it. Because I have no training in shotguns, and I'm not going to get any training in shotguns. This is the assault rifle. Sorry. If you look at the bottom left, now, if you look at the bottom left, there's a and when it fills up, that happens. You can switch to another just fine. Pull down by itself. God, this is so wavy. Uh, sniper rifle. I am not moving the mouse, guys. It really does wave this much. It gets better depending on your stats and the stats of a weapon and things like that. But I am going to be using mainly the pistol because it's a lot more accurate than the sniper rifle at this point. Look, dead bodies everywhere. No. This looks like a full-scale invasion. I don't know why. I don't think it is. But there are laser blasts going everywhere. The sky is red. Things look like they're burning. And there's little explosive puffballs everywhere. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, I think that's what that. Shields. Come on. Aim, Shepard. There we go. These things are hard to hit, by the way. Oh god. Let's see. So this is this uh, uh, pause screen, I guess you can call it. You can use all your abilities from here. You can tell your um, allies what to do, like to blow them up. It's not actually a blow up. That did nothing. I will use my version. Let's see, I have this overload. Damages enemy shields. It also screws up technical stuff. 
and I'm going to heal because that hurts. I think we got this. Yay! Anyways, I leveled up. I'm gonna use my skills. Uh, there's weapon skills, armor skills, a passive skill, conversation skills. These help unlock things. There's lots and lots and lots of skills. Um, triangles are skills, and they're in the same little skill tree. It's an upgrade of the previous ones. If it's a circle, it unlocks a new option. And I'm going for sniper rifles as fast as possible and intimidate so I don't miss any conversation options. Charm is basically Paragon and Intimidate is Renegade. So I'm picking Intimidate and maxing that out whenever possible. You can also see my Paragon meter and my Renegade meter, which that's filling up rather quickly actually. I've only got like six points. Um, these are separate. You can gain Paragon points without reducing your Renegade meter. You just reduce your chances of getting those. You just can't get the Renegade points for that option or whatever. So you can... It is entirely possible to get them both like 90% full, which is kind of strange, actually. Um, so that's an interesting morality system. I'll talk about that more later. And here's Caden. He gets less points than I do. He has less skills than I do, but they're just basically the same. Uh, none of your allies have Charm or Intimidate because those are well, conversation skills and you're the one talking. Anyways, decryption, because that's an unlocking skill and I want to unlock everything I can. First aid, because that's really useful because it raises how much you get healed by when you use first aid. Because if you notice, they didn't get healed that much. Oh, hey Jenkins. That is why you use cover, my good sir. Or do I run through shields? We're out of chance. I'll go back to him later. We gotta go. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. Renegade, plus two. Did you see I picked a Renegade option? Plus two. And there's the Codex, so I'll talk about that later. It's not very combat. Oh yeah, there's more people coming. Well, there's a there's a charge. I forget what exactly it's called. I've lost shields! Ow! Stop blowing at my shields. That was pro. We've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, Nihilus. Yay, upgrade kit. I'll mess with that next episode. I've done enough explaining this episode. Another dead mummy. Getting tired of dead bodies. Oh, look, another thing to blow up. Boom. Over there! Shut up, kid. Oh yeah, I forgot to do something. Uh, in this menu, you can do this. This is my weapon skill. They're different for every weapon. Uh, they can do all sorts of awesome things. You can tell them what to do over here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Get back into cover, you idiot. Uh, Don't die, Caden. See? Rush. Ha! <laughs> I didn't even see the triangle. That was cool. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Medical kit. And medical. Yay! Hey Ash, how you doing? Wish I could do that. Uh, do not wish I could do that. Ow. Oh look, what are those? They look like robots. Actually they are robots, kind of. More on that later gonna kill these guys and that's gonna be the end of the episode guys we can talk to her later Yay, rush no stupid shields my shield anyways that's it um I'm going to save why can't I save that's a piece of bull now can I save yes I can save now Save. New save. Save. Yes, saved. Anyways, thank you. Uh, like the video if you want to. Comment. 
you have any comments um, please please subscribe so you can see more it's really a help these are kind of hard to do but it's kind of enjoyable and I will see you next episode thank you